Acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is defined as the rate of velocity change. Rate of velocity change means how fast the velocity change or how much velocity change in a period of time. For example, how much velocity change in one second or one minute. Acceleration is a vector quantity. It has magnitude, it has directions, and therefore we have positive acceleration and negative acceleration. The negative acceleration means accelerates to the negative directions. The SI unit of acceleration is meter per second per second. And uh, acceleration can be calculated by using this formula, A equal to V minus U over T, where A is the acceleration, V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, and T is the time taken for this uh, change of velocity. So V minus U, final velocity minus initial velocity is a change of velocity. Change of velocity divided by time means how fast the velocity change or how much velocity change in one unit of time. How about decelerations? Deceleration is defined as the rate of decrease of speed. It's the measures of how fast the speed decrease. There are a few things that you need to know about accelerations. Yep. Uh, first, an object moves with constant velocity if the magnitude and directions of the motion is always constant. Velocity is a vector quantity. Okay, it has directions and magnitude, if the velocity is constant, constant means remain unchanged, then the magnitude and the direction must remain unchanged. Okay, If the magnitude remain unchanged, but the direction changed, then the velocity is not constant. So it's important for us to note about this. And an object experiences change in velocity if, if the magnitude of the velocity changes. Okay, means it moves faster or slower. If an object moves faster or slower, means the magnitude of the velocity change, or the directions of the motion change. It means the magnitude can remain unchanged, but if the direction change, then the velocity change because velocity is a vector quantity. Okay, so either the magnitude or the direction change, then we say the velocity change. Okay. Acceleration is the rate of velocity change. But what is a change of velocity? An object moves with a constant velocity if the magnitude and directions of the motion is always constant. So uh, constant means remain unchanged. Velocity is a vector quantity, and vector quantity has magnitude and directions. So for a velocity remain constant, the magnitude and the direction must remain unchanged. It is important for us to note about this. And an object experiences change in velocity if, if the magnitude of the velocity changes or the directions of the motion changes or both of it change at the same time. Okay, so the change in velocity means the change of the magnitude of the velocity, which means the object move faster or slower, or the change of directions. The speed can remain the same, but if the direction change, then we say the velocity change. Okay, so this is what we mean by change in velocity. Yeah? It's the change of magnitude or change of directions or change of both magnitude and directions. Okay, so that's about change of velocity. Now let's see a few cases of uh, change of velocity and change of accelerations. Let's say we have a moving object and this is the velocity from 0 to 4 seconds. At 0 seconds, the velocity is 2, at 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second, the velocity remains unchanged. So for this case, for the first second, we say the acceleration is 0 because uh, the velocity remains unchanged. And for the second second, it's still zero. Third and fourth second, also zero. So for this case, the velocity remain unchanged from zero second to four second, or we can see this from the graph. It remain unchanged 
from 0 to 4 seconds and the accelerations remain 0 from 0 to 4 seconds so we say uh, the velocity is constant velocity is constant and the acceleration is 0 let's see another example so in this case uh, the velocity increased from 0 to 2 and then to 4 to 6 to 8 eh, from 0 to uh, 4 seconds so from 0 to 1 second uh, the velocity increased by 2 eh? okay after that uh, 2 1 second to 2 second the velocity again increased by 2 and increase by 2 and increase by 2 again and therefore we say uh, the acceleration for the first second is positive 2 uh, second second is also positive 2 and positive 2 and positive 2 for third and uh, the fourth second for this case the velocity increased from 0 to 8 second okay or from this graph we can see that the velocity increased uh, from 0 to 8 uh, from 0 to 8 however the acceleration remain unchanged okay the acceleration is uh, positive 2 uh, all the time okay or from here we can see that the accelerations uh, remain unchanged but the velocity increases so this is the case where uh, velocity increases but acceleration constant let's see another example so uh, this is the velocity yeah, from 0 to uh, 4 seconds huh? so we can see that for the first second uh, the velocity increased by 1 after that it increased by 2 by 3 and then 4 eh? okay therefore we say the acceleration is uh, positive 1 for the first second after that it becomes positive 2 positive 3 and positive 4 so for this case the velocity increases and the acceleration also increases uh, from the graph you can see that uh, the velocity increases and the acceleration also increases so we say the velocity increases and the acceleration is also increases okay how about this one okay so this is the velocity and this is the time eh? um, and we found that for the first second the velocity increased by four after that uh, three two and one okay so the acceleration is positive four positive three positive two and positive one okay. so for this case the velocity increases from 0 to 10 but the acceleration decreases from positive 4 to positive 1 so from this graph we can see that the velocity increase the velocity increase but uh, the acceleration decrease so this is the case where velocity increases but acceleration decreases eh? another example so this is a case where velocity decreases eh, from 10 to uh, 2 so uh, the velocity decreased by 2 eh, by 2 2 and 2 therefore the acceleration is uh, negative 2 negative 2 negative 2 and negative 2 so this is a case where velocity decreases okay the velocity decrease and the acceleration is constant the accelerations remain at negative 2 from the beginning to the end so velocity decreases and acceleration is constant okay and how about this one uh, the velocity decreases eh, from uh, 10 to 0 and uh, for the first seconds the velocity decreased by 1 after that uh, decreased by 2 by 3 and by 4 eh? so therefore the acceleration is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and negative 4 so in this case it look like the velocity decreases and the acceleration also decreases uh, this is also shown in the graph however we need to know that 
acceleration is a vector quantity and the negative here only shows the directions. Okay. Uh, actually, in this case, uh, the velocity increases. Huh? The velocity increases from 1 to 4, but negative here only shows the directions. Huh? So in this case, it's, uh, velocity decreases, but acceleration increases. And this is the last one. Huh? Okay, The velocity uh, decreases from 10 to 0. Okay, Initially, it decreased by 4. After that, it's a minus 3, 2, and minus 1. So the acceleration for the first second from 10 to 6 so is negative 4. After that, become negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. So this is the case where velocity decreases and the acceleration also decreases. Okay, Look like the accelerations increase. However, uh, that's because of the negative. And the negative only shows the directions. So in this case, uh, the acceleration is actually decreased from 4 to one. So you can see that um, all these cases, yeah, we can have a look at all these cases here. Uh, uh, the first case is uh, velocity is constant and acceleration is zero. After that, we can see that acceleration is uh, two, but the velocity increases. Okay, acceleration constant, uh, velocity increases. And uh, this is a case where both velocity and acceleration increases. And then this one, okay, it shows that uh, the velocity increased, but the acceleration decreased. Eh? Okay. Um, after that, we have this one. Uh, the velocity decreases, but uh, the acceleration is a constant, remain unchanged. And then we have this uh, case where uh, velocity decreases, but acceleration increases. It looks like it decreased, but that's because of the negative. Eh? And actually, the acceleration increased from 1 to 4. Eh? And uh, the last one is uh, the velocity decreases and the acceleration also decreases from 4 to 1. Okay, so um, so that's what you need to know about uh, acceleration. So acceleration is a measure of how fast uh, the velocity change.